Welcome back. In our previous session, we inserted this audio file. I also have a video file that I'd like to insert. So I actually have a video of a small version of a big band. Uh, yeah, I know that's kind of a confusing term there. But if I scroll down a little bit, I see a place to place a video here. And I'm going to do a similar thing that I did for the audio. In fact, it's going to be exactly the same. It's just that the file name will be different. So I'm going to drag across the text. I'm going to delete it or hit the Enter key either way to remove the text. And now I'm going to do pretty much as I did last time. That was insert, insert object, insert object that I'm creating from a file. I'm going to go browse for it. And this one, instead of being an MP3 sound file, it's an MP4 video file named Big Band. So I'm double clicking on that. I'm choosing OK. Again, I see a little icon with the name of the file and the way I'll play it will be to double click on it. it. Says, are you sure you want to open this? Yes, I am sure. It's going to open up in my Windows Media Player. bunch of swinging cats, baby. All right, I'm closing my Windows Media Player and you're about to catch up with me. If you would like to see that video on your own, maybe just check to make sure it works, even if you're not a jazz fan. So basically we did the same thing. We got rid of the text. We inserted object from a file. We browsed to the location of that folder and we inserted big band MP4 with a double click. Once it's in there, you point at it and double click on it to see it and hear it play. So that was inserting audio video from a file that I already had. 